Welcome back to the show. And I want to introduce y'all to somebody that I've been knowing since I was a kid, man, probably 10, 11 years old. We played baseball together, man, and just grew up together doing a lot of just outlandish things. And from there, man, this guy has gone on to sell millions and millions of records, uh, make beats and produce for some of your favorite artists such as Justin Bieber, Rihanna, uh, Big Sean, just the, and the list goes on, man. Um, don't I'm just believe so proud, the hype. I'm just so proud to call this guy my friend, don't, man. Don't. I like to introduce y'all to co-CEO of The Interns and just a very, very good person and a very, very personal friend of mine. Marcos Palacios, a.k.a. Cosign on the beat. Welcome to the show, dog. Thanks for having me in L.A. It's like always against how I wanted it to be. What you mean? I wanted my friends with me. And then now, fast forward, we in my studio. We feeling good. We had an incredible, can you say that we had an incredible day? Just, oh, man, it's been awesome, man. It's been awesome, bro. Like, um, what sparked your interest just into, like, just from the beginning, like, in getting into music or just, like, starting in music or just, like, okay, you know what, oh, well, that's this my, what I want to do. This that's is my me. mom. That's my mom. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. And she was like, boy, when the last time you practiced your saxophone? Mm. Turn yeah. all that shit off. Yeah. Turn all that. Turn all that shit off. Yeah, there's instilling just value. Pick like, up that's the not, horn. That's not adding value. Play your that's mama a song value. while I'm in here trying to do this. And yeah. it was like, man, yo, that discipline, like, man, you know, that was that's a form of meditation, low key for for a child. Yeah. Me being good at this saxophone, that different things in life continue to come to me, and I'm able to build. Four hours, I'm gonna get inside the music. I'm gonna get lost. I don't even know what time it is. When I first started, it was light outside. And just, just from there, just like your beginnings and starting the music, how did you grow into just like building a business and, and starting a company? Where did that, where did that mindset come, come in at? Because typically, people who do music, they just really want to just focus on music. People kind of like yeah. shy away from the business. Yeah. You know, what, what made you want to actually like get involved with the business? Well, and things? two things, man, two things. You know, one, it was the brotherhood. You know, I have a partner, shout out to my partner too. Other half of the interns, SVP of Def Jam Records, he was always passionate about it. There was a level of seriousness, and for me, I've been this spoiled ass musician who mom went above and beyond to like kind of have me in this bubble. And all I knew is if I just kept being good at music, money would come. But I wasn't always as concerned with business. You know what I'm saying? You want to be an entrepreneur, start up your company, and get some health insurance through your company before you go buy it, right? Here go your budget, like, do some projections. Okay, man, how long, if I don't make another dollar, like, how long can I live out here? Because nothing is guaranteed. And and, <laughs> and, and with that, and with that, how has oh, yeah. self-evaluation uh, assisted you in your day-to-day -day and also in your business endeavors? Well, you know what it is, man. You gotta be connected to the source, bro. You gotta have a spiritual life, man. You gotta have an inner voice. You gotta take that self-meditation time to hear the voice. I remember sometimes I used to drown out the voice with alcohol, bro. Mm. Young in the game. I couldn't sleep, bro. My mama did, fam. Mm. I'm in this house alone. It's lonely as hell. I wasn't through talking to her. And I'm 20 years old, 21 years old. I'm in college, bro. And I used to drown the voice out. But the voice is so powerful. That internal clock, when you connect it to the source, it's trying to lead you in that right direction on your alchemist journey. It's one long journey. Take the time to just... Do some history, like get outside of music for a second and just work on me as a person. Everything, like you start to create this balance in your life. Once I got around my friends and just started to just like stop for a second to listen, like everything just started to just get better. You know what I'm saying? Life started to just grab a whole nother new meaning. The decisions I started making, the relationships I started to build, things started just coming back into place. And, and lastly, man, to wrap it up, what jewels or keys or just words of motivation would you give to a young music producer or just an entrepreneur who would like to follow in your footsteps or just utilize your blueprint to get ahead, man? Yeah, you gotta do what you love, man. If, you weren't, if you're not gonna get paid for it, therapeutic for you. It still was like some, some type of way it was empowering, like you were able to help somebody, like you were able to do some type of service because it's just something about when you're doing something that you love that the red the the way it resonates we here with the renaissance support my man cosign just gave y'all some jewels bro i appreciate you for being on the show thanks again for it's having only me only because we played baseball studio, bro.